Hi there, my name is Will. Welcome to photographyquestions.com. Today I have, uh, yes, another image of a bird that I shot, um, but for good reason. Today we're looking at uh, the detail settings uh, of the develop module in Adobe Lightroom 5. And I'm just going to spend 5 to 10 minutes talking to you about uh, how we reduce noise and uh, how we can sharpen up our image using this feature. So uh, I chose this image because uh, I shot it with a reasonably high ISO, uh, which of course will introduce lots of uh, lovely noise. So looking at our module over here, our detail setting is the fifth one down in the develop settings, and we're looking at sharpening and noise reduction. So just going through the parts of our module here, we have a loop view here, which is a 100% um, view of our image, and we can change that just by clicking this box and zooming around and selecting a, a different area within our image to view. And as you can see from this, it's quite uh, quite a noisy image. Now, uh, sharpening here is the next box. And just going through some of these settings, uh, amount is obviously the amount of sharpening we're wanting to do, from no sharpening to crazy weird looking sharpening. Um, you know, 100% sharpening is just far too much. and uh, yeah, it may it may look alright in some cases on your screen, but if you try and print it, it will look uh, rather terrible. Um, radius is the amount uh, kind of pixel width that you're sharpening it, so between one and three pixels. Um, again, you don't probably don't want to go too far because you just end up overdoing it with that. Um, detail is kind of uh, like at the lower end here, you're sharpening major edges like this one here. The more you go, the more detail uh, it's trying to sharpen, so you're starting to work on some of these finer lines and feather details in here. Um, so all these work working together and um, you know tweaking these and, and working through them, you want to find the right balance uh, of your sharpening. The other one in here is noise reduction and I think the two kind of work hand in hand, probably why they're together. Um, firstly, luminance noise is noise created by variations in the, the light of your pixels. So uh, you might have two pixels next to each other, um, like, like this area that's selected here, for example. You know, the overall color through here is roughly the same, same sort of tone, but you've got lighter and darker pixels. Uh, within that color, and that's that's luminance noise. Um, so what you're doing with this area here is you're trying to smooth that out basically, and and correct the uh, the darker or lighter pixels. Uh, color noise is um, by default it's actually on 25. If I pull this back and you watch in here, you're going to get lots of lovely purple and green and all sorts of interesting colors through here. That's color noise and you know, if you're looking at your raw files and you're going, what the heck is this? It's perfectly normal, uh, especially in high higher ISO images. Um, this particular one was 1250 ISO up here. Um, so, yeah, by default that's at 25, and as you can see that makes a huge difference um, already, just as a default setting. So, starting with some sharpening here, you probably want to zoom into your image and begin sharpening through where you find uh, it's working for you. Probably try about there. Now the beauty of this uh, module in Lightroom is you have this masking option here. Now this is brilliant, uh, especially if you've got an isolated subject like this. Um, with the background we don't we don't want to sharpen all this noise obviously. Um, all we really want to do is sharpen the edges of the bird here, around the eye, bits of the feathers, and maybe parts of the branch uh, that the bird is sitting on. So what this masking does is, as we drag it along, it begins to mask out smoother areas within the image, leaving the uh, in focus and sharper areas to be, to be uh, sharpened. And uh, it's kind of hard to see this when you drag the slider along. Um, you know, you'll see it in your in your loop view here. That's quite uh, quite sharp there. 
as we drag it along it reduces all that sharpening. Uh, what we can do is a little trick is hold down the Alt key, click on masking and that will uh, go all white. Now as we drag this along it will start to introduce a black area. Now that black area is being masked so all the white areas that are left behind those are the bits that are getting sharpened. Now, it's a great little tool to, to as I say um, you know somewhere about here all those black areas all that background uh, you know we're not getting any sharpening in that uh, it's just in the and the bird and parts of the branches there um, you know you can see this this highlight here in the background that was getting a bit of sharpening but for the most part all this area in here uh, hasn't been sharpened it's just the edges that we uh, that we want you can also use the alt feature on all these options here too so um, on the sharpening and that will turn that into a grayscale image just while you do that um, radius this will give you an idea just moving that all the way up and all the way back um, it just helps isolate your, your sharpening and, and your subject to see what's actually uh, happening there and the same with the detail Moving down to noise reduction here, um, we've touched on what color noise reduction does. Um, you know, you probably don't don't need to go all the way to 100. Um, you don't want to remove color that you actually want in there. But again, it's just a matter of sliding that along, and you'll see. Uh, you know, going back and forward, you can see you'll see all the purple and green and all that disappear in the background. So you're left with, uh, you know, that that kind of smooth tonality that you want there. And again, we have a detail slider. Um, this one here. The more we slide it up, the more detail we let back through. Obviously, the more um, more of that no color noise we're going to let back in. Um, I find 50 the default is pretty good. Um, I don't tend to change that too much. Um, smoothness. Um, again, it's trying to smooth out that color noise. Uh, again, if we remove that, we start to get a little bit of that come back through. And again, I find the default 50 is pretty good. Now, luminance noise reduction. I'll just give you an idea. I'll do an extreme uh, adjustment here just so you can see. What that basically does is, as I said, try and smooth out the lighter and darker pixels to give you that uh, better tonality. So if I slide that up to 100, you'll see how uh, smooth that makes all this all this color. Now, obviously we don't want to use 100 because that makes it look almost painterly. Not quite what we want. Uh, it could be what you want, I suppose, um, if you want to do it that way. But, um, you know, what you want to do is go through and, and find a good middle ground. Um, so see there with with nothing it's quite a bit of noise if I move that up it's a bit less a bit less again around the 30 mark if I keep going up 38 not too much of a difference now um, so I'm gonna drop that back down to around 30 now this is just just my personal preference for this image you know for your image what whatever ISO you've used um, settings you've used what sort of noise you have you you want to do this for your image, but um, yeah, I find this works for for this particular one. Again, detail. Um, again, the more detail you let back in, the the more that noise creeps back. Um, I find the defaults usually not too bad. Um, you know, you can play around with that a bit. Contrast. Um, I tend to leave that on zero myself. Um, I find that using that just in, increases the contrast in that uh, noise again. That's just just me. It's a visual thing, so um, you know, just keep looking at your image, keep zooming in, keep checking it, and uh, work out what's what's best for your image. So, yep, that's about it for those. Um, so yeah, that's that's the detail section. Um, you know, one thing I will touch on uh, is 
that this is a raw image, um, obviously. So if you shoot this and you shoot a JPEG as well, so you shoot raw and JPEG, you open them both up, you'll notice that the uh, the raw image has all this noise, color noise, even at some of the lower ISOs, you'll see some color noise and, and you'll be going, what's wrong with my camera? What's happening? Uh, there's actually nothing wrong with your camera uh, because your JPEGs have noise reduction and sharpening done in camera, so that's that's done by the camera for you when it saves it. Um, so you've got to remember that as well if you're comparing it to a JPEG. Just a little, uh, little footnote there. So uh, that's it for, for the detail section. Um, take a look at our other videos. I'm going through each one of these uh, in its own little video to try and break it up. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to pop them down beneath the video uh, or pop over to photographyquestions.com and ask them there. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we have an affiliate link at photographyquestions.com uh, if you're looking at getting Lightroom. If you click through there, it just helps us out. Uh, no additional cost to you, so I do thank you in advance if you do that. Thanks very much, and stay tuned for the next one. See ya.